Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day yesterday. I had a good day. Uh, just work, but it's okay. Um, try to get squared up in the middle here, a little off. Um, so let's just get into what I wore. James Bond 007 Cologne, I guess. Um, a novelty scent, I know. Um, but not all that bad, really, for a novelty scent. Um, it's not anything I recommend you go out and buy or anything like that. But if you're like me and like to collect, you know, weird things sometimes. Like I said, I got a lot of superhero scents and, you know, old school scents and stuff I collect. This is kind of falls in that line for me. I didn't buy it because I, I hoped it would be good. But I didn't buy it thinking it would be good. I bought it more because it's a novelty scent and I wanted it. So... But it did surprise me. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. First off, I don't normally do this, but the bottle, I kind of like the bottle. It's got like a triangle diamond kind of old school kind of look to it, kind of sparkles. Uh, I like this. I didn't at first, but I kind of do now. That's the cap. It goes, zoop, you can't spray it. I mean, I guess you could if you really tried, but you're not going to accidentally spray it. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And it's just more of that, it's a plastic, this is a glass, but this is kind of a plastic, so it doesn't sparkle as much, but same design. Um, and I show you the sprayer just because I don't normally, but hey, just to show that it's an okay sprayer, nothing fancy. I'm going to smell of it while I'm here. Okay, initially what I'm smelling, of course, is hairspray, alcohol, perfumer's alcohol. Definitely hairspray-esque. Um, a minute or two. Yeah, it's starting to come up now. What do I get from it? It's just a... Fresh, clean... Slightly aromatic, citrus, mostly pineapple, uh, and some aromatics, I guess. Um, what I get from the top is definitely a, a juicy kind of pineapple. I'm assuming it's mixed with bergamot and because uh, it's not just pineapple. Also pick up a little bit of mint. Now, that could either be mint itself or rosemary. I, I don't know for sure. And there's some herbaceous, a little bit of greenish herbaceous, so I'm going to say basil or something like that. Um, Yeah, but I mean, it's it's and then it dries into like a, it's a bit creamy too. So there's some kind of creaminess to it. Uh, maybe a, a sandalwood, a bit of sharpness too, so it could be cedarwood too. Um. But yeah, that's it. That's what I pick up for notes. But the basic smell is just a uh, slightly creamy, slightly sweet, juicy, pineapple-y citrus scent with a little bit of aromatic herbaceousness. And it dries into like a, <clears throat> a light musk. That's pretty much it for the scent. It's, it's nothing fancy. Of course not. $16. I mean, and it came with a body wash for 16 bucks. Uh, it looks like I used a lot of it, and that brings me to performance. I've worn this a couple times before. I've only worn this probably about six times, but for me, longevity is not the greatest, <laughs> not, not at all. Uh, quite honestly, after about two hours, I reapply and I load it on. Um, I don't for my reviews here. I just like because I want to get the full uh feeling of the scent so i don't reapply for these days with and reviews uh but honestly when i have worn it in the past just to wear it two or three hours i'm reapplying it and i'm talking five six seven sprays easy so how did i wear this i went with six in my moisturizer one two three four five six seven one two three four Shirt on. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. A lot. But, well, it is a lot, but it doesn't perform very well. Like I said, two going into the third hour. Um, 
realistically, after two hours, you can reapply. Um, and like I said, the smell is just a generic citrusy, pineapple citrusy, musky smell, really. And not unpleasant. Very nice smell, actually. Um, falls in line with things like, uh, without the performance, of course, uh, Artisan Pure, uh, Dior Homme Sports, uh, Chanel Allure Homme, Allure Homme Sport, you know, things like that. Falls in that kind of line. Uh, even a little YSL Loam. Um, but doesn't have the performance of any of them. And none of them except for a really artist of pure or decent performers on me. So, yeah, would I recommend it? No, no. Simply the performance is just not there. Even though I, per I don't mind the smell. You only get about two hours, and I don't care how good something smells. Getting one or two hours out of it, even for sixteen bucks, that's 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 not the greatest. But smell wise, it's really nice. I, I mean, I like wearing it. It makes me feel good when I wear it. So would I recommend it? That yeah. I mean, it's it's weird. If you don't mind two or three hours reapplying, and you kind of like me, and you like novelty, weird things novelty bottles and scents and things like that then this might be one to get but don't get it thinking you're getting a beast performer or something you're going to spray on and people are just gonna oh that's great because projection pretty much not existing after about 15 20 minutes it's a skin scent um which brings me to no compliments and when i ask people to smell it at work by the time i ask them to smell it i got a lot of i can barely smell it something there it's faint and i like it you know so that's a day with. So, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, there's another James Bond I'll be wearing after this because the shelf. So, all right, guys. Peace, love, be good to each other.